All right, let's review. Uh, review what? What do you mean review what, you imbecile? We've been researching this paper for months. Oh yeah. <sighs> Never mind, I'll just read through the paper. The smallpox disease, which originated from the variola virus, appears to have existed for thousands of years. Humans appear to be the only natural host, and the earliest case is the pharaoh Ramses V, who died in 1157 BC in Egypt. <laughs> what kind of last name is the fifth? From what we've examined with our current patients, symptoms include pain in the back and muscles, rashes, bumps, blisters or scabs on the skin, fevers, chills, headaches, and vomiting. Oh, so nothing too far from what I experience in my daily life. The disease can be spread through airborne respiratory droplets. What? Coughing or sneezing, you ape. Oh, continue. Airborne respiratory droplets, skin to skin contact, saliva, and used needles. Small packs generally sp spread slower than disease like measles or chickenpox, and generally only spreads to household, family, and friends. What? No smart out comments this time. Oh, sorry, I wasn't listening. Ah, what was that for? Stress relief. Please, would you be happier if I asked a question or something? Yes, actually, I'd rather please. Why are we having this meeting? Is it really important to know how the disease spreads? Indeed it is. If you know how it spreads, you can find ways to prevent people from getting sick. For example, with airborne coughs or sneezes, the uninfected person could wear a mask. Less infectivity means doctors don't have to worry as much about calling the rate of infectivity rather than treating actual patients. What does calling mean? Calming. Okay. How could an epidemic come from a single person? Well, one person could infect any number of people they come into contact with. Then, each of the people that person could infect could infect any number of people they come into contact with. And the cycle continues. Isn't this disease, you know, dead? Yes, but we're beginning to believe that disease is not just in the hands of laboratory scientists. It's best to be prepared and find a clue to the cure before it actually hits us. Only so many people can get vaccines after all.